to come in and see the boss? Sure. Oh. I'm Chris. Chris Tallman. Uh, me and my family have built the bus. It's a 1998 Thomas MVP. It's a 40 footer, but we went ahead and extended it so we could fit all five of my family in. And uh, my three boys have done most of the building. And we'd love to show you around our bus. What's the name of the bus? Ripple. Ripple. We're Ripple bus. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Let's take a look. This is my wife, Jenny. So we uh, moved in before we were finished, and uh, <laughs> buses are never finished. Buses are never finished, and we're building as we go. And you've come into the cab area, which is also going to be an office eventually once it has a door on it. Um, it has not much of anything done to it except it's been gutted, and it's an sure. amazing place to drive because I feel like an astronaut when I'm kind of cruising down the road and the engine's in the back and I can't hear a thing. Yep. Yeah, mine's, um, mine's a front engine. It does get a little loud. It does get a little loud. But I'm mostly have, deaf, so, yeah. Do you have heat <laughs> problems? Does it get hot? Yeah. No, really. Not really? Okay. No, because I usually have, if it's a warm day, I have windows open. Sure. And yeah. the, the way they're designed, the driver's window sucks the air up to the front, yeah. so. Yeah, which is really nice. I love that feeling. Yeah. I love that feeling. Yeah, the things that we've discovered, having gotten onto it, that I wish I knew when we started designing, things like that. Just sure. as, as an architect, I trained as an architect, I think about those things before I start building. Right. So I'm always trying to solve those problems. So we, the way we came into the bus is actually gonna be sort of our service and, and dealing with the authority sort of entrance. So that's one of the reasons why we have a wall is so that we have like a home and a vehicle right. separated. Um, this is our dinette area. We haven't built a table, obviously. We use a dropout table whenever we need one, just a little kind of kitchen basement sort of deal. Um, all of our battery banks are in the benches. We have, we can go completely off grid in our bus. We have right now 19,000 amp hours of AGM six volt wired into 12 volt system. Um, my son designed the system. My kids have always been unschooled and this was kind of their capstone project and they've each taken on different aspects based on their affinities and interests and such. Um, this is also our guest bedroom, this area is. This will, when the table's here, it will drop down and we'll have a, whatever size this is will be the bed. Right. <laughs> sort of idea. Um, <laughs> Our rippling begins here. Um, ripples are twofold. One is that we have a bathtub that we'll get to, and that kind of creates this circular interior, which is manifested in the countertop and just how this wall um, kind of organizes how people move through the space. Um, the other ripple is, is that, as I said, my kids are older, and we're in this for, I mean, my wife and I are probably committed to this lifestyle until we kick the bucket. But uh, I imagine the kids will want to get off and we'll have to toss our stones out into the water and see what ripples come from what we've done. So, um, uh, just to get a full sense of the layout, kitchen is in here, bathroom is in here. We're in the first roof raise. So the first roof raise went up just vertically straight up a foot. Um, and that gave us room to be able to have a step-in bathroom with a soaking tub and gave us room also to elevate our floors so that we could build in fiberglass water tanks. Mm -hmm. So the footprint of the bathroom is on top of a fiberglass um, gray water tank. So all of our gray water systems for the bathtub, kitchen sink, and actually also urine. So sure. technically black water in most jurisdictions. But, um, and then our fresh water tanks are underneath our bedrooms, which are marked by our second roof raise. So in the, in the rear section, in order to have enough room to do our, our bunk situation, um, to get a bed above and a bed below and a little bit of storage and stuff and the water tanks in, um, we did that second roof raise. Sure. Um, chest freezer? Chest fridge. So fridge. the thermometer okay. converted. That's, that's what I was wondering. Yeah, and then um, to the right of our sink, we've got a chest freezer. Um, okay. Same model, same unit. Um, yeah. Again, kid flip that out and stuff like that. Um, obviously we're going to eventually get doors. We won't live the curtain life forever, but each of the, each, two of the kids got emergency doors, um, as their primary windows. 
they've done all their cabinet work themselves. Each bedroom mm -hmm. really has a desk situation and that folds away to give them more room. But as you can see, if I step in here as a model, feel free to keep that aside. I mean, I'm, I'm six foot tall and about 175 pounds and I get all the space I could possibly yeah. want to kind of move around and do whatever you need. And then there are bunks. We don't have mattresses in yet, so we're still kind of camping. Um, but they get a full set. I mean, this is 32 right. inches wide by six feet long and everybody can sit up or even stand sure. up hunched over in their spaces. Um, all of our lighting and all of our kind of semi-passive cooling and stuff, fans and stuff, that's all 12 volt. And we're also doing like USB chargers built into as 12 volt, not yep. not not uh, not converting that. Yeah, back. I don't even have an inverter in mine. Everything's oh, 12 volt oh. or USB. Nice, really so. nice. And then all of the lamps are being made by the kids. Each kid designed a different lamp. These are my oldest son's lamps, which are the ones that have mm -hmm. mostly been finished and installed now. So some goosenecks and some. And you got ceilings. is that storage up there? Yeah. So see. each of the people, two of the kids have top bunks, and so they have a little nook where they can put devices at night and tea and sure. whatever. And then there is, in the hallway, this overhead. Everybody gets an overhead storage compartment, pretty right. much like on an airplane. It's about the right. same size you have there. Um, as we come down here, little pantry shelves here, each of these pop out. And this is something my two youngest kids figured out just all on their own. They had gotten enough skills that I could turn them loose and we'd talk about it. But then the above is the electrical system. Right. Um, and then below is the water system. And that's because the tank reveals itself there. Mm -hmm. um, this is the cat's door. And the cat has a little chamber of, of sorts and a maze that it can go through to get down into its litter. And it's food and water up here. Nice. Yeah, which actually that works really well because the cat was really afraid when she first got on the bus, but she's calmed down now and she's actually probably around. And So mine was, it, when the house growls at you for hours at a time, the cats don't <laughs> like it. Right, I know, I know. And, so. that was, and that was the thing. And she would go and hide down there and just lay down in her litter. And that was, that was the first sure. road trip. And now she hangs out under desks and stuff. And then one space under a bunk. So my oldest son's room is right here. You can see that revealed and his bed's up here. But we carved this out as a public space. And so this is the video game nook. So we've yeah. got a video game console, the monitors here. We can right. watch our DVDs or stream things here, nice. all that stuff. So and we got that all built into our wall system. Um, and then this, that first bedroom we were in is my youngest son's. And this is my middle son, who's a leather worker. And he wanted the floor so he'd be able to roll out whole hides and stuff sure. and be able to work on them. Each of them has done their own cabinetry, design, built, just ask me, like, is this gonna work or how do I fix that? So we're at that point where I'm not doing any of it anymore. So, yeah. Yeah, which is really nice. And this is my oldest son's, which you can probably tell because he's at that age. Where he <laughs> should be out on his own. But he's, he's, he's a computer nerd. He's the one that was into um, computer engineering and then move that into electrical engineering and that's how he got to design the bus electrical system cool. and install it and such. And then my wife and I are back here, which watch your head when you step up, but this turns out to be my favorite little room. So I'm standing on the cantilever that you can see from outside the bus. And if I step over here about 28 inches, I'm now standing right above the engine. So in a rear engine, you have that kind of engine cover at the back and the final seat would have been there when it was a school right. bus. There's the kitten. And there's the kitten. And so, yeah, lots of things aren't done in here. We will have a flip up bench. Our mattress will always be a fold away and we'll be on the floor sort of thing. But we put together a temporary situation. And then our back, our back window and our bike rack is is set up to be a balcony that's just lacking some decking but eventually my wife and i will be able to escape the household <laughs> and uh, immerse ourselves in whatever we back ourselves up to which has been staggering to be on the rio grande at christmas and new year's we were just hanging out over the river and we sure. threw up a piece of plywood temporarily and just it was amazing very nice yeah so that's that's kind of the brief tour yeah yeah i like it <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. Isn't now, it? um, 
Do you have any social media presence? People want to ask you questions? We do. And... Please ask questions. I'm a designer, a builder, and I've done international consultation with communities, and I would love to help anybody in this community with their builds or their design process or if they just need somebody to cry on their shoulder. Um, at Roaming Design on Instagram, or you can just search Ripple Boss on any of the social media platforms and you'll find us. Uh, my youngest son has started a YouTube channel, The Ripple Boss, so you'll find us. At okay. Roaming Design is the best way. Well, thank you. And thank you so much, Steve. Yeah. For everything. I hope you enjoyed the tour of that latest rig. I will have a new one next Saturday. Uh, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified. Just make sure you don't miss them. Uh, lots of uh, cool rigs coming up this year. See you down the road, my friends. Stay safe.